Hello, hello, you guys. So I have Robin Sterling, um, the Rainbow High doll. I figured we could open her up and unbox her. She is a special edition doll. She's a Walmart exclusive. I got her in clearance. She was $49.97, which I don't think was much of a clearance. When I later looked at the prices, I was like, hmm, this seems pretty close to, to full price every time I go in the store. Um, but I am really excited to get her, especially with her sleeping bag, because I know exactly where I'm putting it in my dollhouse. She has this old Hollywood style look that I very much appreciate. And let's get these snipped. Snip, snip, snip. Just get in the pillow, deconnected, unconnected. I don't, I don't know how we want to word that, but we're snipping. Um, so it comes with this sleeping bag. It's got this kind of silver RH. It's a very like pretty pattern. Um, now Robin Sterling is like a Tiffany blue or a Robin blue. Um, I'm not sure what blue. I, I think that's. The color of that blue I love her little pillow it looks like it's wrapped like she's gorgeous and I do not regret buying her one bit um so I am gonna get her shoes out because we are gonna change her outfit and we're changing it because I love the way the second outfit looks and I don't want her to be really wearing PJs and a robe and everything. Like, I want the girl to be, like, rocking her, her everyday kind of look. We're going to get, uh, these are her shoes in case you're wondering. They're, like, high heels with, like, a thick platform. Um, they're very pretty. They got, like, little fluffy parts. They kind of remind me of uh, Shadow High uh, Chanel, I think her name is, her shoes. Uh, is it Chanel? I think it's Chanel. Let me Google this. Yeah, I think it's Chanel. Yeah, Chanel Onyx. It reminds me of her shoes. Um, but they're they're a nice style. The heel on Chanel's is like skinnier, and she has a bow. So I guess there are some differences. Now this is very, this is very delicate fabric, and I am very scared to like open this because I can see that like silky kind of pants that looks like it would just rip easily if you're not careful it looks like it was it could leave holes easily that makes me nervous okay so I got her pants off they have like furry cuffs. They're like a silk with this white bow that ties. They're gorgeous. And then she has like this white crop top with two buttons. Now the crop top feels kind of like Violet Willow's junior high crop top. Like they're both white. There's a bow that's very similar. Like they're not an exact copy, mind you. It just reminds me of that. Um... But I'm okay with it being similar, um, because I, I mean, we've had a lot of dolls now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it being slightly similar. I mean, there's some differences, like, that she had the, the more, uh, black buttons. I don't think they were, like, an exact, exact, like, replica of the shirt that Violet Willow is wearing. And I, I think... Did this, I think the Sleepover Society Girls came, um, before, I 
before the junior high um, series one, but I'm not positive. Like, don't quote me on that. Um, let me know in the comments if you know, like, which came first. So I have her lovely hangers, which I can't wait to add to uh, the sewing room that we got going on over there. I love taking pictures and that. I actually have to, like, upload them to Instagram. Um, some of the pictures I've taken, because I've taken quite a few recently. Um, her stand is easy to put together. I, I'm missing a piece, um, which is in the little bag here. I'm not, like, missing it completely, but, um, yeah, I need to get this bag open. They tape, they literally tape the bag shut. It's, like, in the box, <laughs> In the back of the box, like, who is going to be stealing the hangers and that part of the stand? Um, why you got to tape it like that? That's just my opinion. Um, but she's got two, um, two hangers. One says rainbow. The other says RH. They're very nice. This is her stand. Very t kind of tealy. Um, okay, I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm going to pull the doll on out of the box. I'm going to see if I can maybe get some of this trash in the box instead. Because that will make cleanup easier. And I love an easy cleanup. Oh, she's going to be so difficult to open. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Your arm, good girl. I didn't destroy your arm. Her, her socks are so delicate that, like... There we go. We're getting somewhere. I might see if I can actually get her comb out first. Okay, her comb is free. It matches the stand. We've seen enough combs that I don't feel like I have to show that off to you guys too much. Like, y'all know what the comb looks like. We're just snipping away. at anything kind of holding our girl hostage. Come on. I, I might just like take her hand out that way. That actually worked a little too well. Okay, does she have anything in the middle? Yes, she does. Don't want to snip her hair. Like she's a $49 doll. I feel kind of nervous unboxing her, I think, for that reason. Like, she is so expensive, and I feel like I have to be so gentle. She's got such delicate clothing. So she has um, white earrings that were very similar to Brianna Dulce. Um, she's got this beautiful sleep mask, which is... Which I think is like glued onto her hair. Is that glued? Can I like not? Okay, you can actually take it off. There is a thing. You can, you can take it off. And you can put it over your doll. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Like so. So, you can put it over your doll like so. It's got some lacy. It even looks like it has, like, eyelashes that are closed. She has these blue baby hairs. Her hair, like, the ponytail, she just screams Hollywood-like glam to me. She's got this little bow that is white, and she's got more little things I need to snip if I actually want to be able to undress her at any point which I'm probably going to like want to at some point 
Um, oh my goodness. Even like... Even, like, her bow is, like, snippety-snip. Um. I'm assuming this bow can come undone. If I want to, like, get the, get the, uh, get this off of her. I would think, like, this is a very, like, sheer, um, kind of overcoat robe with, like, fur. It is held on by this, like, white string she has bunny slippers, which I am dying for, with white socks, with lace, um, in this kind of blue jewelry-themed pajamas. Like, they are beautiful. She is beautiful. Like, adore the doll, but, like, there we go. I can actually get her um, little robe off. So I kind of want to see what she looks like in her second outfit. Don't be, don't be hating on me for that. Um, okay, she does have this necklace, which feels like it's falling off. Let me see if I can clip it in the back, because that is horrible. Girl, we don't want your bling to be blinging on out of here. Um, okay, so I am gonna, like, just shield the doll. We don't want any doll nudity, if possible. Um, but you can see her little shirt and, like, tank top ensemble. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, is it easy to get off her, though? Because I want the other outfit on really, really badly. Um, th her, this outfit kind of feels a little too, like, mm -mm -mm for, uh, some kids' to dolls. Uh, it really does. And the reason I say that is because they look more like Victoria's Secret, maybe some... They look like the kind of PJs you might want to uh, catch some attention, uh, to put it that way, like, to catch yo man's attention. Um, but I don't know, that, that could just be me thinking that. I don't know, do y'all think that that's like an awful sexy pajama set for like for like what is supposed to be like a high school student like I get that um rainbow high would be like an elite private school kind of thing I, I, I get that I really really do I gotta get her socks off of her so I can actually get this this on um and I, I get that, but, like, even it being a private school, like, I don't picture students dressing like that or being allowed to dress like that, especially, like, around the dorms. Like, girl, that would not be happening at my school that I went to. I mean, maybe my school was a little stricter. I never thought that they were that strict, though. Um, so I don't know. I thought my school was pretty, pretty, like, fair as far as, like, what you could wear and things like that. Like, I never got dress coded for anything that I recall, um, or wrongly dress coded, I should say. Um, have any of you been, like, dress coded, like, had to go, like, leave school because you were wearing something that the teachers deemed inappropriate. I'm very curious about that. Like, let me know in the comments if you were dress coded. And if you went to like a strict school, I would love to know. Um, just because I'm a curious person, like I want to know if, if if dress coding is really like a big thing that happens. Because like I said, it didn't never happen to me at my school. So I don't know. But everyone's experience is different. And every school is slightly different. And you just never know. You never, never, never know. Um, so, even this crop top, like, it is tight on your girl. It is tight, and it is showing some, some something. Um, woo-za. Woo-za is all that I can say, because she is, she is, like, showing her belly button, like, Imagine if they sent Robin home for showing her belly button. Like, they're letting her walk around in full pajamas. 
That would have gotten me dress coded at school, I think. If I tried to wear pajamas to class, I don't think I, I would have gotten away with something like that. But I love her. Like, she screams old kind of Hollywood, like... I actually do think I want to put her robe back on her to see how it looks with these silk pajamas and the uh, the shirt. So let's get her robe on. Y'all just play dress up with me for a minute. Like, I love dressing up dolls. Like, I have so much fun doing that. Um, like, for real. I have so much fun. Um, I'm dropping more, uh, doll clothing, shoes, and things. I do, I do want to see what this will look like, like, if the robe was on over this. Because, you know, I gotta know, I like to be mixing and matching a bit. Now, I could definitely think, like, that shirt here... It's a very similar, like, blue to this. Like, that would match easily. I actually don't think the white shirt underneath looks that bad. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it looks like she's trying to run to get ready to class in a hurry. I don't know. Let me know what you think of my girl Robin. I love her blue eyes. Like, they're very blue with that, like, dark skin complexion. I wish they did a lot more dark-skinned dolls with, like, light hair colors because it looks good like look at her hair it is stunning with like the little curls at the bottom and mostly like straight off oh, she and Jeanette she and uh she has a sister on rainbow high I forget her sister's name but like Robin hands down is like the best rainbow high doll um let me know what your favorite outfit of Robin's is um and let me know what you think of her anyways bye guys I enjoyed having a little friendly chit chat with you guys. I hope you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.